Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, ARRL test engineer here at the ARRL laboratory. I'd like to introduce to you the new Yaesu FT450D. Uh, it's a 100 watt HF and 6 meter transceiver, just like the FT450, but this one has some improvements over the older model. One of them is this uh, tuning knob is a little bit beefier. Uh, gone is the tuning temple that was on the 450, but the 450D has a nice rubber grip to it here. Another improvement that uh, is these uh, this little feet under here. Yeah, that props up the front panel, and you can see the front a little bit better. Um, that's definitely an ergonomic improvement. Uh, a feature that's different, uh, new on this model, is the indicators. The buttons are illuminated. As you can see, you can clearly see each of the buttons and what they say, even in a uh, room with the lights off. Well, let's go through some of the features and buttons on the FT450D. Uh, we have the headphone jack right there, and here's your key jack, and your microphone goes right there, and this microphone is a, a different mic than the FT450 had, has the fast button. You can go into the fast mode and tune fast and you can go up or down and tune and scan. We'll go down, there we go, and stop. Here's the power button. The DSP button. You press that uh, once, let's see, and you can go through the different adjustments for DSP. We have width, we have your contour, that's the filter width, a digital noise reduction can be adjusted here, and uh, also the bandwidth of the DSP. So, for instance, we can turn up the receiver a little bit. We're in the USB mode. Right there is a 3 kilohertz bandwidth. I can know, so that's the digital noise reduction. I'll go down one more. Here we go. That's a 3 kilohertz bandwidth. We'll go down to the next setting, which is 2.4. And then the other one is 1.8. So there's three settings for your filter for a single sideband. On CW, we'll change the mode. Let's see. I'll go down the other way. Here we go. Here's CW. We have 300 hertz, 500 hertz, and the other setting for CW is 2.4 kilohertz. So that gives you some flexibility. However, the filter bandwidth is not continuously adjustable. It has three specific settings, sideband and CW. The filter bandwidth for AM, by the way, is uh, either 3, 6, or 9 kilohertz, and in the FM mode, 2.5 and, and 5 kilohertz. Uh, this next knob uh, button I mean is the, the IPO. That's called the Intercept Point Optimizer. Really what that does, it throws in an attenuator a bit, but what it does, it, it, it improves third order IMD dynamic range and raises the intercept point. So if you have a really crowded band, you'll get better performance out of this transceiver by having the IPO on. We also have a ten attenuator here. That's a 20 dB attenuator. Noise blanketer, so that's uh, self-explanatory, AGC. We have fast, slow, automatic, and if you hold this button down, that turns the AGC off for those of you who like to ride the RF game. We'll turn that back on. The band button, we can go up or down the bands. Here's the down button. There's 40 meters back up. Uh, there's 20, uh, you know, all the bands right up through 6 meters. Uh, we have two VFOs here, an A and a B. Yeah, and uh, the different mode buttons up and down gives you sideband, CW, AM, FM, digital modes. Keyer turns on the keyer. The keyer speed, by the way, electronic keyer built in is uh, 4 to 60 words per minute. And we also have the clarifier button for adjusting the clarifier up or down. That's the amount of offset right over here in this little window here. The tune button, this is your automatic antenna tuner. Uh, this uh, adjusts for SWRs of 3 to 1 or less, or a 16 and a half to 150 ohm load. That's a 3 to 1 SWR. 
Now you really can't ask a lot uh, from a tuner like this. You're not going to match some crazy uh, uh, short whip or a very uh, high impedance antenna. So it's really good for an antenna that's designed for the band, but maybe you're down at the band edge and the SWR is creeping up. You can hit the tune button and that'll lower it back down again and remember where the setting is. So you can go back to that frequency, hit the tune button, and it'll automatically adjust that built-in antenna tuner. Here's the function switch. You just hold that down and when you hit the function switch it goes to any one of these white highlighted uh, buttons up here. I'll demonstrate it by I'll turn up the volume a little bit and this has uh, a voice announcement on it that lets you know what the frequency is and we'll just hit the function and the voice. One, eight, point, zero, seven, eight, seven, CW, USB very handy for those who are sight impaired. Uh, we have other features. We have memories. Uh, we have the Vox button. We can store our voice and it has a, vo uh, a voice recorder built into it as well. You can actually, this radio has a beacon mode and you can uh, set your text up ahead of time, put it in the beacon mode and it will automatically send that message over and over again. That's an interesting feature. Well, the first thing you notice on the back side is this large fan and it only comes on when needed. Uh, if uh, first turns on, it'll be quiet, but if you happen to use the rig a lot, uh, it'll speed up and just get a little bit noisier. But that's the fan. That's a decent size. Here's the external speaker jack. Here's your cat connection at RS-232 for uh, radio control. This is where you can hook up to the ACES uh, VL-1000 linear amplifier, but it's used for linear keying. ACES optional antenna tuner can plug in here, and here's your data jack that you can go in and out with your, into your computer or your PC for digital modes. For more information on the original Yaesu FT450, check out our product review in December 2007 QST. Now a little bit of a recap here. What's new about the Yaesu FT450D? Well, it has the automatic antenna tuner built in. It has a new knob design. It has the indicators illuminated and it comes with the 500 and 300 hertz roofing filter that wasn't available previously. And I did happen to notice some improvements on third order IMD dynamic range. I believe that's because there, in this radio there's a 10 kilohertz roofing filter at the first IF. I saw an, improve, an improvement of, at the 2 kilohertz spacing of approximately 9 dB. Now that's significant. Also, the 5 kilohertz spacing of third order IMD improved from 75 to 86 dB. And the 20 kilohertz spacing with the preamp off was 97 dB.